Uh, I'm Ken Chi, the director of the IGER program on atomic and molecular imaging of interfaces and defects. And this is an NSF funded uh, IGER program. And it focuses on uh, three areas of material research in electronic materials, uh, spintronic materials, and organic inorganic hybrid materials. And the <clears throat> You know, the IQ program is slightly different from a typical research center where IQ program focus on to provide a unique educational experience for graduate students. And what we, we have a student have to do a specialized coursework, have to take the core course so we can provide them with fundamental training, academic training, then we have them move on to do the interdisciplinary research. And the, uh, the faculty members of this IGA program consist of uh, faculty members from six different departments. And um, the, in the chemistry department, we have Kelly Willett, uh, who is actually a new uh, Iger faculty member, and David Vanderbal, Keith Stevenson, and Paul Barbara, and Albar. And uh, one thing uh, probably student would like to know about about the Iger program is it provide a very high stipend compared to most of other uh, like a TA ship that you receive or the research that the RA ship you receive and. Um, it is a uniform, uh, inf uniformly determined uh, stipend of thirty thousand dollars a year. On top of that, there are also educational supplement, and so it is financially a very attractive. Uh, how is that? Financially, is very attractive for graduate students, and but with uh, there's one stipulation you are eligible to this program for the student only if you are a US citizen or permanent resident. We recruit the teachers and students. These are the high school teachers and students primarily, although sometimes we have middle school teacher and student also participate in this program. And we recruit the students and the teachers from all over the state. And uh, so when they come to, uh, to UT, they will go through a lot of lectures, demo, but the most significantly is they also have hands-on experience. And the hands-on experience, they can do making, for example, making nanoparticle and look at how the size dependent is going to influence uh, the physical property and, chemis and chemical properties then they also have uh, the real hands-on experience to look at those properties. So, so this is what I believe uh, that this summer academy program, uh, the unique aspect of it. And uh, a lot of, and we also have a pro, also at the end of the summer academy, we also have a teacher forum. So in this case, uh, we want to sort of communicate with the teachers and first of all is what is the best way what do they need the most from us in terms of broadening the uh, the public awareness and of the neuroscience and technology and also how can we provide them with materials so they can inspire their students to pursue for the science and engineering when they go to the college. So that is also included in this uh, summer academy program. 